Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to play with local group policy. Now this uh, virtual machine is uh, just a workstation. It's not part of the domain. I, so it's not getting its policies from the main GPU. Uh, and I can do manual editing through the local group uh, policy. Now keep this in mind, if the computer is part of a domain, you can some make some changes from the local group policy but if uh, there's a policy that conflicts with the domain group policy the domain group policy supersedes for example uh, you want uh, somebody locally you don't want anybody to be able to access the camera a webcam but uh, the domain group policy allows them to use the cam webcam so the camera the user of that machine will be able to use the camera because the GP update from domain uh, server from the server does allow them so for the gr local group policy just type in group uh, in the start menu you will see edit group policy click on it and there should be few policies you can see there are different settings that you can go and play with now the administrative templates are that we use to uh, do most of the things you can see that uh, for computers it's different all settings for example if I click here it's gonna be a long list and all setting is for the uh, users are different now users do have desktop so and they, they have different other things from the desktop for example I want to show you cleanup wizard now cleanup wizard is not in later version of Windows so you can see in Windows Server it's only available for XP in 2003 uh, it's still showing up on Windows 10 not sure why but uh, that gives us another option to filter so how do we filter right now you don't see any filter option there are but once we activate the filter we will see a funnel now I want to see Windows 10 only I click OK and you can see there are funnels so now everything in there is the options or uh, things that are available for uh, the uh, Windows 10 now we have recycle bin that has over here as well we, there's a policy for that let's edit that if I, I can either double click it or I can click the policy setting or I can right click and click edit all same thing now if I enable it what it will do is it will remove the recycle bin I click apply ok it's still there right I refreshed it it's still there I go about CMD run as admin <laughs> I GP update it's updating the policy but but it's still there let's up update and force it forcing it but it's still there the reason is that uh, some of the policies you can force and they will not require a Windows reboot but in this case or in most of the times you will re be required to uh, reboot the machine and it's always a good idea uh, no matter what just have your users uh, if you're pushing something from the uh, uh, group policy uh, it's a good idea have force your user to restart the machine uh, but then you have users who just log off log back in and tell you hey we rebooted and you check uh, you know from the system settings it's it wasn't 
so that's another thing in the meantime let's quickly restore them so I would say 99% of the time maybe I'm exaggerating maybe 90% uh, when I tell somebody hey please reboot it and by the time I reach them you know, they tell you we rebooted you check it wasn't and you know you have to reboot it for them um, then I found out that most of the them most of the, uh, them they think uh, logging off is equal to reboot they probably never heard or know about the restart option nah, I mistyped it All right, so that icon is gone now. That's the power of group policy. Uh, I will suggest that uh, go play with the group policy, see what you find, and remember to restart your computer for the group policy to take effect. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.